an effort is being made to improve the environment at schools across Barbados, making it safer for students. The program is part of a Caribbean-wide Safe Schools initiative and has the support of the Government of Norway, the Caribbean Development Bank and UNICEF. What we are looking to do is to encourage schools to have school safety at the forefront. And so one of the things we'll be looking at, for example, is doing a, um, schools carrying out the drills, for example. We will also be doing things like um, looking at the assessment of the physical building. All of those will form part of a holistic program that we are looking at in terms of school safety throughout the region. The education official says more than 500 persons from the industry have already been trained and it will not be a one-off exercise. And we're looking at a multi-hazard environment, not just hurricanes. Um, as you know, um, earthquakes, tsunamis, you name it. We are not only focused on hurricanes. So throughout the year, schools are encouraged on a termly basis, for example, to at least carry out at least two drills per term. It can be a fire, it can be an earthquake, it can be tsunami, it can be a lockdown. So there are varying, and as you know, we live in a multi-hazard environment, and so we don't only focus on hurricanes. And Deputy Chief Education Officer Joy Adamson says principals from across the school spectrum will be trained. On Thursday and Friday, we actually train assessors. We have safety officers. We have currently seven safety officers in our schools. And we have persons from the Health and Safety Committee from the schools. They'll be coming in to be assessors, so training as assessors, so that they can go out to the schools then and tell the schools, OK, this is uh, missing, this, we commend you on this, so that across the board, they'll be able to tell persons what it is that we're looking for for a safe school. The Safe Schools program is to provide principals teachers and auxiliary staff with the skills required to put together a school's safety program. Trevor Thorpe, CBC News.